All right, so here's the example. It says Ramon Perez worked 40 hours at $14 an hour and seven hours of overtime at time and a half. What was his pay for the week? Um, well, to find pay, you just take the rate times the number of hours that were worked. Um, we do have a difference where we have some overtime here. Um, so we're going to have some regular pay. And we're also going to have some overtime pay. Okay, so for our regular pay, um, he worked 40 hours. His rate was $14 per hour. So we just take our 40 times 14. And we get a pay of $560. Okay, next let's find our overtime pay. Now his overtime pay, um, we know how much time it was seven hours of overtime but we need a rate here and we don't know the rate right now it says it's time and a half okay so we take our fourteen dollars and we want to find out what's the rate for time and a half pay now one and a half can be written as 1.5 so if we take our fourteen dollars times 1.5 that's how we calculate time and a half his rate for overtime hours is $21. He gets the $14 plus half more, plus seven more, $21 an hour. So now we can use that to find our overtime pay. He worked seven hours at $21 an hour for his overtime, which comes to seven times 21 is 147 more dollars for overtime pay. So his total pay for the week would be $560 from his regular pay plus $147. Gives me a total of $707. Alright, next example. We want to find the percentage. So let's go over our steps, review our steps for finding the percentage of something. When you have a percent, in order to do a calculation with it, you have to change it to a decimal first. Um, the way that we do that, percent means per 100. So this actually means 5 out of 100 or 5 hundredths. Um, so what you can do is divide by 100, but 5 divided by 100 is 0.05. Um, rather than writing all of that out every time, when you're changing a percent to a decimal, you just move the decimal two places to the left, put zeros in any blank spaces. So as a decimal, this would be 0 0.05, just like we found up here. Okay, so the first step when you're finding a percentage is to change the percent to a decimal, which we've done. Then you multiply that decimal by your value. So we have 31,465 times 0 0.05 gives us $1,573.25. Okay, here's another one. Find 8.3% of 112,346. So again, our first job is to change this percent to a decimal. We move the decimal two places to the left and replace any blanks with zeros. So that would be 0 0.083. Then you multiply it, of means to multiply it, by your number here. So we're going to take 0 0.083 times 112,346. When we do that, we get $9,324 and we get 0.718. We're, we're wanting dollars and cents here, and um, cents are two places after the decimal point. So we want to stop there. This 8 would make us round our 1 up to a 2. So we end up with $9,324.72.